Hey guys, Snoopy here, and today I wanted to show you some software that I actually wrote a little while ago, um, but I hadn't made a video on it, so I decided I'd finally get around to it. Um, so one of the cool things about um, the virtual console games being released is when they released Pokemon Crystal, it uh, gave you the chance to get a shiny Celebi. So that's uh, what this software is for, and in the uh, GamePro Dropbox folder, um, you'll be able to find this um, Gen 2 Virtual Console uh, folder, which has this uh, Crystal Shiny Celebi folder, and that's got three files in it. So uh, this this bottom one here is that's just the source code. So you don't need to worry about that unless, for whatever reason, you want to have to or you want to have play around and try and edit that. But uh, there's also a README which will give you instructions on how the software works. But otherwise, you can just follow this video tutorial. Um, and then there's uh, this file in, in the middle which is the, the application or the executable file that's the one you want to run so you can see I've already saved um, my game in front of the shrine in the Ilex forest and there's a few other bits and pieces you, you, you need to do to get the GS ball and all that but I'm going to assume that you've uh, you've already done that but there are some other video tutorials out there for um, how to get to that point so uh, once we've saved the game there we can double click on this to run the program and as per usual I'll ask um, where the webcam is which is normally um, it's normally just zero which will open up the uh, webcam and then I'll ask for the COM port number for your game pro which in my case is seven at the moment and so that will get the software running I'll just relocate this image so you can see that on the screen so you can see there's a little bit of camera lag as well, but um, it, uh, it shouldn't affect how the uh, the software functions. Um, so it'll just cycle through. There's a little bit of text to uh, to go through at the start, um, but it'll just cycle through the text until the encounter occurs. Um, and then what it will do um, for your first encounter is it will pause, and uh, which you'll, you'll see shortly. We'll just wait for it. There we go. So it's going to pause at that point, and you can see there's a um, little red corner here that we're going to use to locate the top corner of this text. So what you want to do is make sure you've clicked on this um, command window here, and then it tells you which um, letters you can use to move that around. So I'm just going to move that to round about there, and then press zero. And then you'll see I need to do the, the bottom right corner as well. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to, I'm going to move it all the way over so that it's pretty close to the text. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't get all the text, but the crucial thing is that you don't pick up some of the border. So I'm just going to put it there. There we go. Um, so that's got most of the text within that rectangular box. So if you're happy with that, then uh, we can just hit yes and enter. And it will soft reset. Um... Now you can't walk away just yet because what we need to do is we need to set a baseline for the time of the encounter. So the way the software works is um, when when the encounter starts and the, initially the text box will, will come up white but there will be a delay while it does the uh, animation while uh, Celebi appears which we'll see shortly. Um, and basically this, this program is looking at the the time that that animation takes because it's longer for the shiny encounter. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So it's already looking for that text and then bang, it finds it there and it's worked out the time from when that white text box first came up to when the text first appeared. Um, and you can see that took 3.171 um, seconds. So then we can just press enter to continue. And now that is all set up and calibrated properly, um, so we can basically leave it running. And you can see it set this longer limit here for um, that's basically limit. If it goes longer than that 3.971 seconds, that's when the shiny encounter has occurred. So I'm going to leave this running. The odds aren't too flash for this. It's one in 8,192, um, so it may take a little while. So wish me luck. Okay, and we are back, and as you can see, I um, finally had some success. So this is about five days after I initially set um, things up, and 
This says there was 5,743 soft resets, but I actually had to stop it at one stage because I had to do a uh, video conference call. So that was after about 3,760 soft resets. So in total, it took over 9,500, which is a little bit over odds, but it finally happened. Um, and you can see here, so this this figure here, this 4470, um, that was uh, basically in milliseconds how long the, uh, the encounter took or the, the the animation for Celebi and you can see um, it's about 1.3 1.4 seconds uh, longer than all of the other encounters so that's what this program is actually used to define the shiny and you can see the this red box here it's it's paused when it's just picked up uh, the text starting to appear so that's proof that it works it's actually the second time that I've run the software to find a uh, shiny Celebi now and I know um, a few other game pro users have managed to find them as well so um, yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um, feel free to leave a like don't forget to check out the facebook page as i said i uploaded the software quite a while ago on the uh, on the facebook page it just sometimes takes me a little while to get around to uh, making a video but until next time see ya